if you're a dad, you know, this is we're in June, so this Father's Day, you mm-hmm. know, coming up and that sort of thing. So I got a dad question for you. Oh, great. Okay. What, what age is the hardest age to raise? Like, your kids are, one's in his 20s, one's in his teens. So was it harder when they were babies? Is it harder when they're toddlers in high school? Like, what's the age that you're like, I, I can't get through this? I would say the baby phase. I was never good at the baby phase. How come? Uh, Because crying babies drive me insane. Even your own? Oh, yeah. It's even worse when it's my own because you can't walk away. Right. (laughs) (laughs) And, you know, I remember being in a hotel room and my son just screaming nonstop. And it drives you insane because you're bothering everybody around you and you know that. Right. And you can't stop the crying. So I remember I put him in the car and had to drive him around for four hours to get him to go to sleep finally. But that stuff, you can't stop him from crying. It's not that easy. And all you want to do is wait until they get to the age where they wake themselves up and then they can, you know, go turn the TV on or something else that doesn't wake you up. Or go get their own Cheerios. Right. Right. Now it's not as bad because I can turn my back and just walk away. You know, (laughs) if if they don't like what I say, then whatever. But as a baby, they rely on you for everything. So, yeah, that I think that was the hardest. The baby age. The baby age. And what about you? When you were a kid, do you you think your baby age was the hardest? Do you think, like, what's the hardest age for your parents to deal with you? Now. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's the hardest age I have to deal with you. Oh, Probably teenager. I was not a good teenager. Same, I, yeah. I, I was the rebellious teenager that had a Camaro that was really loud and never came home, and I was that guy. So I wasn't fun as a teenager. Right. Yeah, I don't think any of us were. I've, ne- I've never met a fun teenager in my life. I wasn't one. My friends weren't one. My, <laughs> weren't kid, any. my kids are good teenagers. They went through that pretty well compared to me. Right. And you, you would say teenager was worse for your mom oh definitely i mean my mom once said to me that she didn't like me until i was 18 like she literally (laughs) said that to me and she wasn't even kidding i was like well that's healthy um because i was a terrible kid and when i was super young like maybe 15 or 16 they were away for the weekend and i was supposed to stay at a friend's house but i snuck back into my house and i had a party and the house was in shambles Mm -hmm. and the police showed up and stuff was stolen it was, I mean, it was bad. It was, windows were broken. I mean, you, you would think that, like, you would think I hated them. But I didn't. I loved them. I just was a terrible kid. <laughs> he just wanted to have that party. Well, you know what happens? When you're young, you invite, like, a couple of friends over, and then they tell some people, and then it gets around the neighborhood, especially, you know, when you're growing, growing up somewhere like Brooklyn. I mean, once word gets out there's a party house, all of Brooklyn shows up. But can you imagine now that was back then when you had to you had a grapevine to get through to tell people you were having a party. Now it hits Facebook game over. Right. That's true. Yeah, it's much. Although it felt like Facebook back then. I mean, there were so many kids there. They they were piling out into the into the yard, into the backyard, the front yard, the street. Mm -hmm. You would think that I somehow had a time machine and found Facebook (laughs) and said, hey, here's my address, everybody. It was I I didn't even know that many people. I didn't know anyone that knew that many. I didn't even know where these people came from. I didn't know half the people that were in my house that night. Mm -hmm. And your parents found out. Found out they got the police called them and said, oh, no. uh, your windows broke. And I I got very drunk that night. I climbed out of a window, even though I, I could have gone through the door. I don't know why I went out a window. And a neighbor saw somebody climbing through a window and it was me. Oh, no. And they called the police. So the police showed the police were there anyway because of the noise and the party. Mm-hmm. But then they thought somebody was breaking in and my parents were called and they drove home at like two in the morning and. I mean, literally, my mother's still mad at me about it. She brings, she still brings it up. <laughs> <laughs>